the proceeds? Uh, the government, the current government, they are, they are only are saying they are in that office illegal. They are saying that that team. They removed the subsidies from fuel and these other things. And they took that money to free education. And they employed the teachers to pay teachers. That's why they that money, so that other people they are benefiting. It's not, is, is, it, is it not good for that? Whereby they have introduced free education. That's why they removed the subsidies. It's not that okay. <laughs> eh? My dear fellow friends, eh? Eh? My dear, are you posting to the session? Are, are people watching? But they, they, they're watching, they sometimes are watching. Ah, thank you so much. Yes. Yes. They sometimes are watching Let you. Let me assure you Zambian. And yes. I don't want you Zambian to be cheated. Yes. By somebody who's telling you lies. Mm, I'm sure some of you people, you went to school. Mm. Let me come to the word free. Mm. Introduction of free education. Mm. English. I thought I kind of a degree hold. Mm. But this degree is questionable. Mm -hmm. I'm very sorry. Mm -hmm. If someone kills them a degree holder, but what he does is he opposes that degree. Mm -hmm. Then I'm very sorry. He has a fake degree made. Because look, my dear fellow friend, English, I'm a British student myself. I'm taught by the white man. Mm. But what they taught me is that I should not stop learning because learning is every minute's time. So, whenever you, you, you are speaking a language of somebody's language, please go to your mm. voc uh, vocabulary. Vocabulary is very important. That's why even English people in England, I become number one in the class of other in, uh, English boys. I defeated them. And they are proved that these English people, those are English people, but they, they also use the dictionary. They also fail. <laughs> they only know how to speak that language. Sometimes they don't know the meaning. They have to go to a dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> they speak English, but they, they know the meaning. They don't know the meaning. <laughs> and then they use a dictionary. That sounds good. Okay, yeah, so explain. A, a dictionary is very important. Yes, yes. So when you talk about the word free, yeah. it's an English word. Okay. It is need a proper interpretation okay. and understanding. Uh -huh. uh, go to a kind of system mm. and the teaching people that he provided free education. Mm. I'm very sorry for you, but I don't know how you understand, understand it. Mm. I ask you the three quarters of people who have got children in school. Mm -hmm. They are buying books, they are buying pencils. Mm. They are buying, they, those who are boarding school, they are even buying boarding school mm. fees. Mm. My dear friend, is that free? Free means being given something without payment. I'm sure that's the meaning of the word free. Mm -hmm. When you talk about free education, it means a that child does not pay even a single way. Mm -hmm. That's the meaning of the word free. Mm -hmm. But if that particular child again buy a book, buy a pencil, eh? buy a uniform, buy a, his blanket, his now, how can that be transferred to be a free education? <laughs> when someone has I'm got also, something... I'm also learning now. <laughs> learning it. Yes, I'm also learning. Learning it. Mm. Free means free. Mm -hmm. When you buy, it is no longer free. So for, for him to say he has introduced the free, for free education, that is an insult to the Zambian who are listening. So especially me who know the meaning of the word free. Free means free. Look, I personally, okay, I don't know others, but I went to school, secondary school. I was past the second secondary. Mm. We were not paying even one way. I was for boarding school in the Wanika uh, dormitory. We used to, to eat meals for the dining room, free of charge. So long your name will appear there, you are a boarding student. We used to have free meals. We used to eat three times meat per week. Whatever we need, the fish, everything used to be supplied by the government. But it was free. There is, those things were given to us free. Mm. So long you were a student, a registered student of the second secondary school, we were receiving that at a super plate. During President Kaunda's government. Books, when we go to classroom, we used to receive it. Free books, free pencils, all whatever item required to in with regard to school used to be given to us free. That's what we call free 
education. Please wake up, you on, on Slamba. Zambian, <laughs> wake up. Don't be cheated by someone. He has just only pro, uh, removed that to make his contemba, to make his business. Then he now tell you that I provided free education. What kind of free education? When you are buying school fees for your children. And uniforms. Uniform, everything you are buying. That is, can, how can that be free? Me, I used to receive it. Blanket, free blanket. I never bought a, a blanket at the secondary school. They have to give us free med uh, blanket. Free bed sheet. I'm not cheating. Ask any such uh, student. Maybe other schools. I don't know. I went by the secondary school during counter's government. That's what I know about free education. Primary school. I was uh, more uh, Mumbula primary school. Says uh, in Senanga. I was by Manamare primary school. Senanga. Sesheke. I was by Nawinda primary school in Sesheke. Second, oh, the books, pencils. I never bought, my father never bought a pencil for me. They have to give us free of charge. That's what we call free. But teachers were paid by government. Everything was supplied by the government. Huh? <laughs> you know, fuel were being subsidized during that particular time. So now what is he talking about? He's just still cheating. He's only transformed that money to, into his capital business. It is his business. For example, I heard that Constituents Development Fund, CDF, mm. CDF were increased from 1 million to whatever number. But now, let me know, let me make you understand one point. I want you to understand one point. English is again very important to understand. I kind of kill him to be a degree holder, but let him understand the interpretation of the word. CDF means Constituents Development Fund. There's one word there, development. Constituents Development Fund. There's no word empowerment fund. We don't have the word empowerment there. It is the constituents development fund. And what does development mean? Does development mean empowering someone? That is two different words. Empowerment has got its own interpretation. Empowerment means giving someone, empowering someone with the money or with the, whichever you are giving. Mm -hmm. It is a not Merit development. When I choose that money or whatever way he, otherwise, you have given, you have empowered him. <laughs> that's what the meaning of the word empowerment. You are empowered. That's why in the government, Zambian government setup, we have a, an office called Citizen Empowerment Fund. It is there, isn't it? We have that. It is called Citizen Empowerment. And uh, everybody who wants that money, it comes from the Bank of Zambia. The Bank of Zambia are financing that. It is called Citizen Empowerment Fund. It is not a Citizen Development Fund. Uh -uh. That is where someone who wants to apply may apply for empowerment. Uh, you apply to the, to the citizen. Making sense. Those are the people who are dealing with empowerment. They went to, for training. They know how to give loans. They know how to demand for that loan. They are trained. It is an institution controlled in the supply by the world, by the Bank of Zambia. That's where everybody who wants to be empowered should go. Whether he has got a club, he has got a cooperative, he has got a private company, he is an individual. He can do business. The fund is free. We have banks. Banks are also assessed. They receive money from, from the, the Bank of Zambia. To give it people, to empower people with the loans. That's where they're supposed to. But now, him, he mixes the two. He takes the money that's supposed to develop Kanyama to empowering people in the Kanyama. He's the only people. And the who are receiving that money? He's the only. That man of a cooperative, he has got the, he's the chairman, the secretary. That's the people who are benefiting. That's all. Not the development. 
empowerment and development are two different, two different things. things. They cannot be de uh, mixed up. A uh, development means if that 100 million is for development, then that 100 million should only be used for feeder road within that particular constituency. Each constituency we have got feeder roads. That needs to be constructed. We have got the hospital that needs to be constructed. Schools that need to be constructed. Schools, everything, government, offices. That is how that man is supposed to be used. For example, if they construct a road within a constituency, who are benefiting? The people, the government will employ people. Within that area, some will get jobs from that fund. Number two, after that, you with vehicle, you'll be moving. You will now benefit in moving within, uh, on that star road. Or a proper arranged road. That is how it is called development. Because it develops, it empowers, it, it helps the people, it benefits the people of that constraint. Not what he has, he, uh, kind of has done. Hmm. He's now putting business, he's the only person of business. Those who are managing that fund, I don't know who are those. Hmm. Are you getting my point, my friend? Hmm. It is his own pocket. And uh, the only people who help the Imutukiru people is now paying them with that in nature. We don't know how they are being given and how they are sitting. <laughs> are you getting my point? I uh, know, I'm learning also. So that is a, a foolish word. CDF. CDF. That's not teaching people about free education. When people are buying books on their own, how can that be free? That is a lie. You see? Two, so, government has got many sources of funds. The major funds of the government is the tax. You who are drivers here, you are driving the car, you are using the road. You are not only using the road free, are you not paying? You are paying. You are paying for the using this road. Mm. And that government, that money is going to the government. It is the money that is supposed to construct the road. But do we see construction? He has you now one year. Zero. Where is he taking that money? Two, we have got money that go, which we call value added tax, mm -hmm. VAT. Mm -hmm. In the calendar, it was called indirect tax. Mm -hmm. But in its rubber, it was made direct by the uh, given the name value added tax, VAT. Whatever you buy, whether you buy oil, you buy whatever you buy. Even a sweet, there's value added tax added to that amount you are paying. That goes direct to the government. That is where the money, the government gets money. Plus, finally, direct taxes, including levy, rates. Each house, each business is paying. Is it not enough money to control the country? That is the money that's about to control the country. But now, here he is cheating people. Cheating. People who never, maybe not who never went to school. I don't know. <laughs> but if someone went to school, let him go back to the dictionary and find out the meaning of the word empowerment and of the word development and of the word free. You prove with me that there's nothing I can do die. It is not only the market cheating you and stealing your own money to other works. So now, here's Munokera's point. Me, I'll bring external auditors from London to audit all the work. I want to find out how that money has been used. And uh, I'll make sure that anyone who has touched into that money has to pay back. Let them wait for my action. It's coming very soon. <laughs> yeah. no, you know, I, I will bring external auditors. They'll work hand in hand with internal auditors. Together, they will bring back what belongs to the parade which they say corruption, corruption. To me, I'm a law student of London. Holborn College in London. But now, again, as I have already said, in law, we believe in the interpretation of each and every single word. You cannot win a case in the High Court or whichever court if you don't know the interpretation of the word you have used. In that particular court, you see, the word corruption, the word corruption, according to my understanding of that English, 
have consulted English dictionaries of different types. They still mean the same. Corruption is a situation where someone corrupts someone's mind in whichever form. For example, here you are, you are a policeman. Uh, then I come to you with a case. I want someone to be arrested who has uh, stolen my property. So it is now your duty as a police officer to go and arrest that person. But now what happens now? That policeman, when they see Muriokara, who is a poor man, then the rich man comes there. Who has got a car? He packs a car. Then he goes under the same. No, me, I have uh, someone has stolen my, my watch, but I have the vehicle here. I can give you transport. Maybe even lunch <laughs> during that particular time. Then Muriokera is offended. He has got nothing. Where do you expect a policeman will go? To Muriokera by footing. <laughs> and uh, that one who has got a car. <laughs> can you see what happens? That's where we talk about corruption to that particular officer. Because corruption even there. That, when that officer accepts the money, the one who gives the money is also corrupt. The one who receives the money is corrupt. These are the two joint people who are about to be joint arrested. Are we together? Mm. A policeman is not supposed to receive money from that person. He was about to do his duty. Are we together? <laughs> Mm. But mm. now, the one who gave him money again is also a corrupt person. <coughs> and they should do pay. Mm. Because I don't think it is wise enough. You have lost this car. Maybe the cost of the car is 10000 Again, you go and corrupt an officer to arrest somebody who has stolen this car. You also again pay 5000 or whatever amount. In addition to the cost, first cost. And they don't know who will pay that. To do? No? <laughs> eh? Don't come back. <laughs> eh? Why I, is it that, that are you are you wise? Are you wise, my friend? Mm, you know, you're learning from you. That is what it's we call that. Mm. That one is what we call corruption. Mm -hmm. But now, what I'm hearing in those courts, someone who was in the office, and because he misused the fund, that that is corruption. How can that be corruption? He has bought a building. And now he uses that money, corrupt, corrupt money. In which form? Is that corruption? My friend. That's why, they, even when they go there again, they are losing their cases. They are able to arrest people, but they are not winning the cases. I've never heard the case they won. And uh, that corruption they are, they are giving. I don't know. Which case? That one minister, former minister of health, had not been arrested under a uh, corruption. I heard he was arrested under when he was a minister some time back of finance, isn't it? Mm. That was the case they gave him, isn't it? Mm. Not corruption. Which is arrested him. It is foolish. Where do corruption? Unless someone, two officers, mm. is when you can uh, arrest them under that. President Mdoka, there's a question from my brother. Which question? About Why is it that this government failed to supply fertilizer in China? When there was uh, uh, enough uh, funds. funds, funds, enough funds. That one, sir, I cannot answer it. Okay. You can uh, ask uh, Kainde Chilema and his government. They, can, they are in a good position to answer that. I don't know. But I, 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 I said, okay, are you in I your government? Give ah, okay, how are you going to handle agriculture? Aha, that's the question. Yes, how are you going to handle it? No, that's government. the question. Yes. Thank you. That's the question I can answer. Mm -hmm. The question is with regard to his government. Yeah. Is you to ask one yeah. of them. Yeah, now, you now, how are you going to handle? Uh, me, I'll handle it in a very simple way, my dear fellow friends. Mm -hmm. Me, I'll handle agriculture in a proper way. I have already told you that I'm printing money. Mm -hmm. The money that I'm printing is the money that I'm going to use. I'm going to give each and every Zambian. I'm talking about you going to the village. Farmers, small-scale farmers are in the village there. So I'm sure they are the first people to register with me. They will register with me. Now, when they are registered, they will be getting 10 million each. For example, here you are. You are a farmer. You have got a farm. Then you have your own 10 million per month. Per year, you have 120 million. Not using your own uh, daughter, your son, but your own money. 120 million. Are you sure you can go to buy fertilizer or whatever you need for your farm. 
Now, but people are saying that politicians so, are all lies. My government will give you the money, 10 million to the people, so that they are able to buy all whatever they need themselves. That money will go to an individual. My government will not uh, tell people to form cooperative. That is foolishness. <laughs> we will not tell people that we shall buy for fertilizer for them. What if we take it in the wrong time? Me, I'm not going to do that. Me, I'll give you 10 million to every farmer in the village, in the town. He will use that money himself to purchase fertilizer. Number two, my government will provide commercial farms in each and every district. I don't want to depend on the private sector, no. I will ensure that each and every district I have crops and animal husbandry, commercial farm, commercial farm. Then whatever we get there, we shall be bringing the stuff to Zambia National Branch Stores. I will introduce Zambia National Branch Stores Development Organization, which like Kaunda, Sinek Stores, will also go to every corner of the branch and the section of the Zambian people. They will be like shop right. We are going to make sure that every Zambia will move with a credit card. West 10 million per month. I mean those who are not working. Those who are working, they will move with credit card. West, according to their salary. For example, those in my government, general workers will be receiving 20 million minimum wage. Screw the worker who have got a certificate, or the, a certificate from college or university. We will have 10 uh, 30 million as the minimum wage. 40 million will go to a diploma holder. 50 million to a degree holder. 7, 60 million to a oh, master degree amounts. holder. And 70 million will mm. go to a PhD holder. Mm. In that category. So all those who have got qualification, they will move with the, their credit card. Where's their, that money? Mm -hmm. For example, 70 million times 12. How much is it? That's the total amount of that credit card per year. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. So now, they'll be going to those shops, Zambia National Blood Stores, everywhere, whenever they need. But before we construct those the branch stores, we shall depend on the private sector stores. We shall register those the, uh, agents, those who have got stores already currently. They'll register the, our agents. Then the people will be moving the credit card. Where's that money they, uh, were for them? Then they'll be using that money to buy whatever they need in, in the trade. You have shop. received the call from America. Hello, my friend. Oh, Borutangu. Oh, where in Duna, Rutangu? Mutu Anitate. Okay, the two Okay, I'm first of all, I'm going to read it. Because I'm going to interview you, you're my journalist. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. I'm going to five minutes or ten, you're going to read it. Okay, okay. Eh, where in Duna? I remember this day, we were together. Okay. He was my, my classmate. Ah. And in the long run. Yes, so that's how it is, my dear friend. That's how my government will provide funds. We are going to make sure that every Zambian, every Zambian, wherever they go, they'll be moving with a credit card with the amount I've already mentioned. Mm -hmm. So by so doing, no one will have any problem yeah. of life. Mm. So my government will not talk about cooperative. It is useless. Mm. In fact, to me, I don't even have, may have the, those cooperative, I know them. Even when they, they are formed, they always create problems. Mm -hmm. Because some will fight for position. Some, those who, are, who have got position, they also sit on the rights of those members of the cooperative. Mm -hmm. That's what I've seen in the cooperative. Mm -hmm. It is only fighting there. There's not a moment that can come through a cooperative. Nothing. And that's true. Apart from confusion. And because, the political. Uh, political confusion. <laughs> you know? Uh, no. Any question? That, uh, you, you know, Mr. President, there's um, this thing which is going on. Um, I, I, I didn't let the letter start to be general. Yes. 
you politician, your parties. What, what message do you have for these opposition political parties? Because we have seen other parties, they are so in fighting and everything. I don't know if you are aware about what is really happening, maybe in the PF, if you are aware about that. But what message do you have for these political opposition political parties when it comes to democracy? Because, you know, when you have a government in power like the UPN, which is there, it needs a very strong opposition, which can give them checks and balances. But what are you seeing in the current opposition we are having currently? Are you doing your part as opposition as the political parties? Uh, my word for that is that uh, the only big, 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 biggest problem we have in Zambia mm. is that uh, what we call multi-party democratic setup is not being followed. Mm. That's the only big problem we have. We have that problem. May I put it straight? Mm. According to the law, Zambia is a multi-party democratic state. Mm. A multi-party democratic state means a, a government ruled by not one political party, but by all political parties. Mm -hmm. But now, the setup of the uh, political parties mm -hmm. is not geared to that. What I've only seen is that the one who destroyed the multi-party democratic in mm. the Chiruba's government it was mm. exercised. Oh. Manawaza it was bit exercised, but it was destroyed after the death of Manawaza. Mm. These other people who took over, starting from Rupia Banda, up to the current president, they have destroyed the multi-party democratic state. According to multi-party democratic state, the current government, they become only the chair for inter-party dialogue. We have uh, what we call a par a direct parliament. That is parliament there. Then outside the parliament is for political parties. That's what we call outside parliament. Therefore, whatever parliament decides, they sit for whatever they sit. When that issue comes to the to cabinet, it should first go to inter-party dialogue. Inter-party dialogue. Mm. Is that which is uh, headed by political parties? Mm. Then they have to sit and analyze on that particular issue and they find a solution. Mm. It's when it can go to the president to be a bill. Mm. That is a set of interparty uh, of government. But instead, mm. do we have such thing happening in Zambia? Mm. It is not there. Mm. Not so that's why there's no political party that they can say we have got uh, a political party we that is. That is active, a political party that is not in active because we don't have inter-party dialogue. I've never heard inter-party dialogue being held. Mm -hmm. Some time back, I told Pamulungu Kofi Center, they said during a uh, Lungu's government, they said it is in a uh, uh, inter-party dialogue. Then you find that none government organization are there. Then what kind of inter-party dialogue where there's any deal there? The word none government organization means it is. That organization is not a partisan. It will not support to come to politics. Mm. Interparty dialogue is only for political party leaders together with the ruling party. Then they decide whatever to do to be done in the country. No bill, no bill according to the law can pass without interparty dialogue. But that thing is not happening. It is started with the Lungu's government. Mm. It is being followed by Haka Indus government again. Mm. There's no dialogue. Anyway, that's why me, I have been silent these days. I'm just busy organizing my party, the winning of my party in the court. I'm still dealing with the court. Once I'm done, then I'll put the proper government that will incorporate all the political parties. Mm. All political parties in my government will be tabled. I will make, not make any decision without calling them. They are my friends, they are not my enemies. But the only problem we have here, we see the president there thinking that an opposition is, an, is his enemy. He don't know that an opposition leader is his colleague. He's the one who's about to help him to develop the country by coming together. When we used to come together with the, with the Chiruba during the past dialogue, we used to solve a lot of Zambian problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we meet, we, they will bring the table. The member of parliament have decided on this. Then they bring to inter-party dialogue. 
Then we point to party leaders, we sit, we talk, we work. We give us our allowances. That's why we end allowances. That's what a political party ends allowance through that. But now, what do we do? We see the only a political party for me to oppose that I should only to go to the media. That when I'm, uh -uh. that's not how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be on the set up interpart dialogue, proper arranged dialogue. No law supposed to be done. Whatever the MP, whatever the minister want to decide, should come to interpart dialogue, final for decision hmm. before it become a law. That's how I can. That's my last question. Yes. Well, last question. We we have a state house in Zambia, and that state house, that's we know that all, all the president have to stay. But um, we don't know why our current government doesn't stay. Do you, are you aware that the, our current government doesn't stay there? It stays in community house. And there's a cost every day, the police officers, and there is that cost which is going to the Zambian people because we are the one who pays tax. So what advice are you able to give to our president? Should we, should we move to the state house or is just continue being there so that we continue spending our taxpayers' money in that man? Is that okay or not? On, or for you? Uh, my, I can give you only two answers. Or yes, 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 yes. I want to give you two answers. Mm. The first answer I'm saying is that I kind of know that I'm in the court. I'm the president who's supposed to be set up. Mm -hmm. That's why he don't move to set up. Mm. He knows it, it's not, it, it, it doesn't belong there. Mm. That is a true statement. Mm. <laughs> no? He's failing to tell the Zambian the truth. Number two, number two. Now the Inspector General of Police is aware. I gave him the copy from from the court, International Court of Justice, Constitutional Court, International Criminal Court, proving that he again is moving illegally. So for them again, as the leaders of the state, to continue consuming people's money by moving him the way they are doing, when they know the truth. There are the people to blame now. Because one, they are enjoying the wastage of fund. Are we together? Which is wrong. I have saved the document to the army commander, Zambia National Service, Zambia Army, only Zambia National Air Force, whom I have not yet saved. So all these are aware of something on the ground there. But still, despite knowing that they are moving a criminal, an accused person in the criminal court. But they are still parading him as the president. They are still parading him with the government funding. Is it, you, you know, is it proper? Just because Munioka is a poor man who is a beggar on the street. That's why I'm waiting for the right time. I'm now printing my own money. Then I'll put my money now. Then I'll employ my people. Then the UN will come and make judgment. Yeah. As soon as the final judgment of criminal, then I'll make them pay for all the expenses. I think I, pay, I, I spoke before. Because if someone knows that what he's doing is illegal, but he's doing it, despite knowledge, that man becomes a full but criminal. He, but what makes him being criminal, Mr. Minogue? Well, if he was voted by the 2.8 million first, because that's maybe the, the Zambian people they need to know, because they're calling him a criminal. How are you calling him a criminal? How, how is he becoming a criminal when he was voted by the Zambian people? 2.8 million voted for him. Where is he coming a, a criminal? Because now I'm getting into that. I'm trying to understand why are you calling him a criminal? What, he, what, he, what, 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 what has it done for him to be called a criminal? So Thank that you. maybe to clarify for those people who are listening, so that we don't maybe confuse Thank Zambian you so much. people. That's yes. a very good question. Yes, you may confuse uh, Zambian yeah. people. Why I, are you yeah, calling him a criminal? Because I, the president was voted by the Zambian people. You are right. 2.8 million people. You are right. Yes. You are right. I was uh, questioned. I spoke with the inspector then after giving him mm. the document. Mm. He called me. Then I spoke with him for almost two hours. Mm. Almost two hours some more. Mm. The way you have with me here, mm. I had a with him again mm. uh, uh, during that conversation. Mm. Now, look, my dear friend, that question was also raised. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Let mm. me answer it clearly. Let mm. me put it clear. Mm. I want to make you understand mm. why he is a criminal. Mm. He is a criminal at the moment. One, uh, I 
President Murioka petitioned the 2021 election. Mm. Within 14 days, I went to the Supreme Court here. Mm. Constitutional Court. Mm. Then after, according to the law, if I, I lost in my, my petition, mm. I would have been arrested because at that particular time when mm. my paper was tabled, mm. Akandi was already president of Zambia. Mm -hmm. Was almost seven days in the, in, in the office. Mm -hmm. But now, the correctional of, uh, car was there, ready to pick me. You would have heard that Murioka has been arrested mm -hmm. in the charge with this one. Mm -hmm. They were there to exercise their duties. Mm -hmm. But see, after I gave my statement, on the camera, I failed. My the court judges heard my voice and they allowed my paper to, to go through through the court <laughs> altogether. Mm. Meaning I had a point, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I won in short. Okay. They proved that I was an eligible candidate. I was a candidate during the election. Mm -hmm. There was an error that was made there. Okay. So now when they were about to put a death sum in the off in the office of the registrar, mm -hmm. I kinda of sent a policeman to disrupt the judgment. Mm -hmm. Policeman removing papers from the, mm -hmm. the, the officers of the court. Mm -hmm. And they're pushing me to mm -hmm. their office, mm -hmm. taking all the papers mm -hmm. by force. Mm -hmm. Is it how it's supposed to be done? Mm -hmm. Is it how the law says? In the court. <laughs> That's okay. what happened. Uh, uh, yeah, I, mean, I don't know how court of police, so I <laughs> don't know. Yes, yes, yes. So that's all illegal. Mm. The, the police at Supreme Court and the High Court mm. told him that, no, we don't operate that way. Mm. We have got no power as policemen to come in for papers of the court. Mm. It is a court procedure. The, 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 he's allow his papers. Since he's the president, they were even blushing my what? Mm. Since the, the judges have accepted his document, mm. let the document go through according to the law. Mm. But he, he used the death stamp of the Supreme Court police. I told him, put it on the death stamp. He put the death stamp. I have the death stamp mm. on the judgment. That's how I used that paper to appeal to International Court of, mm. of Justice. Mm -hmm. I kind of used his powers there. Mm. Are you getting my point? I'm getting you. Number two, uh, on 20 September 2021, mm. my Petition was approved by international court. Mm. Approval I'm talking about is being filed. Mm. If the court finds that your paper uh, does not qualify, they throw mm. the papers out. They mm. don't file them. Mm -hmm. You go, you know that. I'm sure you know that. Yes, yes, yes. Now they filed my papers. Mm. My paper were approved. I have the, the, the papers. Mm. Then on second November, I sent the document to a kind of chairman telling that my paper has been approved by international court. So I'm a president, can you hand over power peacefully? Mm. Are we together? Mm. But the kind of chairman failed to hand over power peacefully. Mm. He paraded himself president of Zambia up to now. Now, let me take you back to the system of the court or a uh, jurisdiction. Mm. Even in the local court, if you take your friend to a local court, then the court finds him with a case. They tell him to pay you. They make an order mm. to pay you or to do whatever, as an order of the court. If that particular person failed to comply to that order, then you go to the court and say, ah, you made an order, but that person has refused. Mm -hmm. it, become, it becomes a contempt of court now. That person is now answerable to the court. Mm -hmm. He becomes a criminal. <laughs> you got my dad? Mm -hmm. That is the first part of his criminal act. That's the first part. You, do you understand that? Yeah, I'm getting you, yeah. And yeah. even a local court, any court, everywhere. Mm. Two, then number two, the court also found him and advised me to file with the no criminal court. Because, one, my petition proved for sure that in 2021 election, mm. some people were killed. I'm sure you know that. Mm. You, you know that. Mm. During 2021 election, people were brutally murdered. So now, if you go back 
before those people were brutally murdered, Hakaende Chilema signed from Lungush Conference Center a paper agreeing that his party, he will make sure as a candidate and as a president of UPND mm. to make sure that there will be peace during and after election. Mm. I'm sure you remember that. Yes, I do. Mm. He signed that protocol. Mm. But despite his signature, his people under his control mm. violated that his signature. People were killed on the ground. You uh, you got my point? I'm getting you. Now, is that not criminal? Okay. The, in law, he is called an organized professional murderer. Mm. An organized murderer is not somebody who can directly kill. Out together, mm. for example, here you are. You use your own money. Mm. Then you employ somebody. It is not you who kills that person. Then you employ someone. He going to kill that woman there. Mm. Huh? Mm. He received the money from you. Or oh, maybe he received a term that I think uh, 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 Let me finish here. Mm. I'm finishing now. Mm. You are asking to know how. Y yes, yes, yes. He is geared to the case. Yes, yes. So now, if that particular person go right there and they kill mm. that particular person mm. under your command, mm. are you not a murderer? I okay. am. <laughs> yeah. You are. Mm. I ask the inspector general police. Mm. There was a case, even you, you know it. Mm. Right now, currently, in the court of London, mm. there's a certain woman called Mumbipili. Mm. She was a PF. Mm. She involved with the case of murder in Kaoma. Mm. Whether it's Kaoma, I don't know where. Mm. Is she not uh, arrested? Mm. Did she physical kill? Mm -mm. But she was uh, subjected to the killing of that particular person. Mm. So now, she is held responsible of that. So her kind is also responsible for the murder of those people who died mm. during and after election mm. under his call administration. Mm. That's how he's involved. I'm sure I've answered it. I've answered it. So